Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying ASP.NET Web API. In this video, we are going to learn the concept of model binding. So let us see. So first of all, we'll understand what is binding. So you can say binding is the process of setting HTTP request data to the parameters of an action method. See, whenever we request any HTTP method, we usually send the data through that request. So in model binding, what happens? Basically, whatever request data you have set, we have to map it on the parameters of an action method, which is nothing but called as binding. So here, your parameters can be of two types. First one is primitive type, uh, like our normal variables, integer, double, float, etc. And complex type, like any other object, or class you have created in your application. In primitive type of binding, what happens? Your web API will try to extract the values from the query string and then after it get converted to the respective primitive type and then after it will be assigned to your parameters of an action method. But in case of complex type binding means if you want to pass any object which will be assigned to your model in that case, what happened? You have to mention your values in the request body. Okay. So we are going to see both this concept practically. But remember one thing, by default, Web API get the values of primitive type parameters from the query string and complex type parameters from the request body. But suppose you want to alter this, means suppose you want to send complex type of data through query string whereas you want to send a primitive type of data to request body. In that case, Web API, ASP.NET Web API has given two options. So let us see what are that options. These are two options. You have to use these two attributes that is from URI and from body. So as I said, from URI will force you to extract the value of complex type from query string Whereas, if you use from body in front of primitive type, it will forces you to get the values from request body. Means how initially it works or by default it works, complex data is generally extracted from from body. Whereas, a primitive data is extracted from URL. But you want to do exactly opposite. You want to extract complex data from URI. In that case, you have to use this attribute. Whereas in case of primitive type, you have to use from body attribute if you want to accept those values through request body. So let us see this part practically. I'm switching to Visual Studio. So here I'm using the same uh, Web API application that we have created. That is Web API basics. And we are already used the concept of primitive type binding. If you remember, we have these two method get product, which is accepting one ID parameter, which is of primitive type, that is integer. And we have one more method, post message, which is also accepting one parameter of primitive type, that is string. Okay. So, and if you remember, we pass these values through query string. So, let us revise it once. See, we already have these methods in our history section. So I'm just opening it. See, this is since this is a root parameter, we are passing it like this. Or what you can do, um, instead of this, I'll just remove it. And here I can mention the query parameters. Okay, say ID. And then after I'll pass the ID. So it will appear like this. Similarly, we have that post method also. So this is our parameter name, name. So I'll say xxx. And if I send, the method will be called and then your data will be assigned to your parameter. So if we switch to Visual Studio, if you check here, while sending the request, I'm passing these values through query string and one care I have to take that my query string name and the parameter should match then only this will be successful okay 
So now we are going to try a complex type of binding. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create one post method, which will accept a value of type product. So public I HTTP action result. So I'll say create method name can be anything which is accepting a parameter of type product and let us say POBJ. Let me hide this. And here we are not following any convention of VBP action method. I have to use attribute. So this is going to be my HTTP post method. Okay. So here, what will I do? I'll whatever data is requested, I'm going to send that data. So I'll say return OK. And whatever is there in my POBJ, I will send it as it is. Okay. So very simple method. So let us run it again. Now I'm switching to Postman and we are going to send a post request. So here already a post verb is selected. So this is our local host and this is my URL. Okay. The API is the word and then after product is our controller. So basically uh, from this point onwards, we are going to use the technical terms. This is nothing but our endpoint. API slash product is what? Endpoint. And now I want to send the parameter of type product, which is nothing but our payload. So we are going to say send our payload along with this request. So as I told you, generally it is sent through request body. So what you have to do? You have to go to this body tab, then say raw. And then after our data is in the JSON format. So I'll specify it here, JSON. And then here I have to create one JSON object. Okay. So again, whenever you are sending the data, just make sure that your property name or whatever key value pair you mention here, it should match with our property name in C sharp class. So product ID, then colon, let us say product 10, comma. Now my next key is name. Say microwave. And then next key is price. Say 30,000. Okay, so whenever you are specifying the key, it should enclose in double quote. Uh, data of type, data for name is of type string. That's why I enclosed it in double quote. So whenever you are sending a data through body, what you have to do? You have to select raw and then after here, you have to specify the JSON. So it is just for understanding that you are passing the data in the JSON format. Then after it will be deserialized and then it will be collected in the object. And as I said, we have to take one care that our key name should match with the property name of our C sharp class. So let us send this request and we'll try the output. Okay, it works. What we did, whatever is our inputted data, we are returning the same data. So we got this response 200. And in response message, we got the same data. Okay. So this is how we try it from request body. Okay. Now suppose we want to force our web API to fetch or extract the values from URI. In that case, as I said, what we have to do here, we have to use from URI attribute. Okay. So let us try that. So from URI attribute is generally mentioned before your parameter type and inside the square bracket. Since it is attribute and as per the style of C-sharp coding, we have to specify the attribute in the square bracket. So that's it. Now just what happened? Instead of sending your data 
through request body you have to send it through uri now we are going to see how to send it to through uri so again we will switch to postman so let us create one post request so my verb should be post and then here i have to mention the port name okay and then api word and then product which is nothing but our endpoint right and now we want to send our request data through query string so we have to be in the params tab and here we have to specify all the data in the key value pair where key will be the name of our property which is nothing but product id it is not case sensitive actually you can mention it in any case then name say microwave so while mentioning it here you will not enclose your data in any symbol then price say 30000 now let us try this okay now here what happened it actually gives us a wrong result what is our expected result we want our same data as it is but here what happened if you look at carefully one of our parameter name is name and we have one method here one post message method which argument name is also name so here it got here it get confused and that's why we get a wrong result so what we have to do we have to change the parameter name either we have to change the property name here either we have to make it as a p name or product name or we have to change the name of parameter here so what we will do here i'll just specify the i will change the parameter name i'll just say n okay same thing i'll change here also to avoid the errors now again we'll run the application i'm switching to postman and let us send the same request again okay yeah we got the right output now okay so previously it was mapped to different action method and there was confusion due to this name key now it's resolved and we got the correct output now my request is you will try for primitive type of data to be sent from body okay just try for any method we have this post message method you can try for this and you can send me your answer in the comment section so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts or any concern you can write it to the comment section thank you for watching